Welcome to another daily cinephile vlog, and I did it. This is the 100th vlog for this channel. 100 days in. Wow. Um, which, I mean, from the beginning, I sounded like I was going to, you know, keep pushing forward. I was going to make it happen. Uh, tried to do it for at least a year, uh, but still to hit 100 is amazing. Uh, there's certainly been some days where I've had to double up because I maybe missed a day, so I'm like posting to catch up. But for the most part, there has been a vlog almost every day. And at least enough for each day of the year for a hundred in. Um, yeah. So, uh, just talking about it, how it kind of goes along. Um, I don't feel like even with a hundred of these, I have any tips to share because I don't know. It's, um, it's tough to share any advice as far as vlogging goes. All I know is that, um, my impression of the vlog has changed now that, you know, I've been doing it the way I have, um, it's certainly a more difficult situation to be doing it at the moment, given that, um, you know, with the pandemic and all, uh, things are still shut down for the most part. Not everything's open. Um, I wrote down notes to go visit this location in town and even that location, which is like, a, it's a landmark. Uh, even that is still shut down. Like you can't enter it technically. So all these notes I wrote down, I was like, oh, I'll make this into an episode. That'll be fun. Doesn't happen. Uh, we did go on the road a couple, uh, last week, actually, uh, to some stuff in Grand Rapids and Bemidji, which was a lot of fun, but, you know, for the most part, there hasn't been a lot of that because hasn't been a lot of traveling, and for the most part, there's still nothing really to do. Um, so I said it before, kind of a bad time to start a vlog in the pandemic, but it's a challenge, and it's a challenge I was, uh, willing to take, and I've definitely learned some things, um... You know, one is, I guess, how to start out each of these vlogs. And sometimes I'm a little more experimental with the process. Sometimes I'm doing other things and um, maybe I'm showcasing something or showcasing something in the collection. Or maybe I'm just kind of making a joke out of it or telling a story. Um, but I do know that, you know, starting out the vlog, um, I haven't been consistent with explaining that it is a daily cinephile vlog. Um... Which I feel like I should. I feel like I should introduce it with some more common introduc introduction phrases and uh, phrases to go out with. Um, this is not developed the way that a normal, you know, YouTube show would go. Um, you know, it's weird because I, I just, the YouTuber uh, label, I've never been a fan of. There's just something always, I don't know. There's something that comes with that territory that just makes me feel like, not that there's a, there's something about it that doesn't feel, um, legit. It doesn't feel natural. And it's like, uh, when I think of YouTuber, I think of the people who are like, you know, like yelling at the camera, like, what's up guys? And just real quick, lots of editing. And I've done some edits on the vlogs and, you know, I've done editing in my own videos and uh, quick cuts for certain older vlogs that I've done and for some reviews. But for the most part, you know, the aim of this was not really to do something like that. You know, my whole point was I wanted to make something that's totally me. I talk about things that I don't usually get a chance to talk about, not necessarily just deep topics. I don't think I've had a lot of deep topics in this series, but talking about things that, you know, just don't normally fit into a video or some kind of common anomaly that I find in my daily life or something that has happened in my daily life. And that was kind of the point. It wasn't really the point of spewing out something real quick um, and editing it like crazy to remove any kind of natural uh, way of talking or of how people and their thought processes work. I think it's uh, kind of more interesting to me anyway to see someone just lay it all out and kind of see how everything's ticking. It seems more real to me. Um, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for, to be a little more real. But I think that's why sometimes I remove the introduction and outros. But um, I feel like I should introduce those a little more. And uh, I've had a little bit of editing in the vlog. And I might even in the future, depending on the size of the content that I decide to do. Content is a word I don't really like. But 
uh, the size of the video I decide to do. If I do something like on the road or... I don't know, there's some reason that there does need to be editing. You can watch in these videos that there's been editing here and there. And uh, bef mostly, though, I'm avoiding the whole, you know, cutting out all the the gaps and the ums and the just kind of the natural way that people do talk and the way that people think. I think it's just more real and doesn't feel so much like like a commercial, like I'm trying to promote something to you. What am I promoting to you? The, 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 this channel? The other channel? Myself? It's like I'm trying to be just more introspective about my own life. And um, I'm starting that out by just looking at things that, hey, you know, here's this in my life. Do you have this in your life? Um, do you relate to the way that I'm talking right now? Do you have these occurrences in your own life? Do you have these small issues? Um, I guess these little tiny, you know, kind of issues that happen in life that, you know, not may many people maybe notice, but I'm trying to be a little more reflective of those things. Sometimes they're funny and sometimes it's like, yo, this bothers me. And um, kind of the process that I think like a, almost like what a comedian does. I think comedians like to really look into things, the details of everything and, um, be very, you know, like they like to bring up the most mundane things, but that happens to everybody. And I feel like I'm trying to do that, but on, you know, not in a humor level. Uh, things that I've learned is like, well, one is, um, I think sometimes I try to be funny and maybe it's not working. I've noticed that sometimes my immediate, um, go-to for a situation that's maybe too quiet or um, where there's not a natural flow, my immediate thing is to go to humor. You can actually see that in the podcast that we do. I feel like I always try to, I'm throwing in jokes at, and not even that they're always landing, and sometimes they're pretty generic. Um, but I do that sometimes when things just aren't progressing, I feel the way that they should, or, you know, like the conversations come to a halt because everyone's like thinking, and I try to fill in the dead air. I feel like that's one thing I should work on. It's like, don't worry so much about filling in the dead air. One is, I'm probably, and I, and I don't think I am, I'm not as funny as I think I try to make myself, especially in the podcast, but maybe in this vlog series too. I think if I were to be funny, I really have to take the time to write something down. But, you know, in my honest opinion, you know, from the things that I have done on YouTube especially, and um, in other work, it's usually not humor that works. It's usually being a little more historical or um, trying to inspect something, to review something when I am being a little more serious. Or at least um, I drop in little jabs, but I mean, I, I like I said, I feel like when I'm just being a little more straightforward, it works out a lot better. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with just me trying to still find my way, my own speaking voice, which... You know, after doing this many videos and being this old, you know, is that something that you should still be working on? But I think, yes, I think you're always working on it. And um, I know I've always had, like, a unique way of uh, writing things. And uh, despite, like, you know, I have know I've had criticisms of myself where I look at the way I'm writing and the way that the paragraphs are set up and that it's not always an, the typical format... I still try to f stick to the way that I think and the way I talk because I think that's what makes it more interesting and that makes it more unique. And that's what I try to focus on. But the thing is, is that as far as humor goes, I feel like I should try to dial that down a little. Um, the other thing I've learned with vlogging is like uh, the run times of videos. I feel like I try to be hitting that seven to 10 minute mark a little more often than the one to five minute mark. Because to me, it's like, well, why are you even uploading a minute-long video? Uh, I've done it here and there, but, you know, for me, I don't know why I have this assumption that you just shouldn't be doing that. And it probably has to do with, like, YouTube algorithm literally being implanted in my brain. Like, I know that, oh, these videos don't hit as much, but it's not like I'm necessarily making these videos to hit. I know they're not going to hit that well. I know it's a vlog series and that vlogs are everywhere, but I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it mostly for me, and I think having shorter videos shouldn't be bad, but yet I still kind of have this urgency to be like, yeah, I gotta make the video longer, you gotta have a more interesting topic, I can't just film 
something that really quickly happened to me. Like I did a video about my bumper and I turned it into a bigger thing than it originally was because I uh, originally was just going to film it when it happened and be like, oh my God, my bumper fell off. It was going to be like a 30 second video. And I'm like, but in the end, I'm like, maybe that would have been more interesting. There's kind of like a, there's something about that that just feels more different than just relaying the story. You know, if you're in the moment and you show it after it happened, then there's kind of a quality to that that seems more, I don't know, of the moment. And sometimes of the moment doesn't mean 10 minutes. So I don't know. I feel like that's another thing I should focus on. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to like wrap through my head now everything that I'm kind of saying. Uh, yeah, focus more on intros and outros. Um, don't worry so much about the length of the videos. Don't try so hard to be funny. You don't always have to be funny. You don't have to try to be funny, especially if you yourself don't think you're that funny. <laughs> Um, but the other thing I was thinking of too, is just, uh, with these vlogs, I, I guess as far as improvements go, um, I'd like to get out of the house more. I mean, but that's just like, uh, not much we can do there. But the other thing is, you know, with vlogs, like the thing that's kind of challenging about them is one, trying to promote the video or trying to throw it out there. I feel like there's just no time as far as you know, you're kind of moving on to the next thing. And when you're working on the main channel that you're more focused on, these vlogs become very much like, oh, there it is, there it is. And, you know, it's like, there's not much retention with that. I know that a lot of these vlogs are the day of, and I know a lot of people, if they're watching it, they're going to watch it once the day it premieres, and then that's it. And, um, but it's like, how do you make that special? Because, you know, it's like, I... Because it's not even just about marketing them. It's just about the longevity of these videos. Because I guess my important thing is that not even really that, oh, this video must be remembered forever. But I want to make it special enough where it's like, you know, make the viewer's time worth it. And that's something that, like, worries me. Weirdly enough, it worries me a lot, though, is uh, with all this content out there where it's like, you know, there's podcasts, there's... YouTube, TV shows, movies, all these different things that people are filling up their days with. It's like, it's not that, you know, you people are having to pick what they're going to listen to and what they're going to watch. And that's really the competing thing now is competing for people's time. Not that I'm in that arena at all. I mean, I'm not, I'm not running a streaming service. I'm not really even running a business model. But it's the fact that are these products or content or it's kind of creations. Some of it is like very creative and amazing but is everything that people consume worth the time and is it making the most of their time and that's just something I kind of worry about because I'm like even though I'm only doing like 10 minute videos uh even less than that it's like is this going to be worth people's time and it's like some of the videos I've done I'm just like I don't know this was kind of a quick thought I appreciate what I'm doing. I think it's different from other things I've done, but I don't know if like the viewer appreciates it or if they're going to retain anything from it. Or I hope they do. But it's like that's something that actually worries me because it's it's more just about like I want to be my best and I want to do my best to make the viewer's time worth it because if you are going to come to this small old channel, that's a side channel to a other pretty small channel and watch these vlogs, I want to make it worth it. And I want you to discover something from it. And um, that's kind of my, you know, that's, I think, important. Because it's like, I am taking up your time. And other people are taking up your time. And it's like, you know, we can watch podcasts all day about YouTube drama. Or watch TV shows about people living in a house. And the, the conflicts of living in that house. Reality TV shows like that. But it's like, in the end, it's like, is this worth your time? Because it's like... Man, I'm already, I'm only 25, but I've done this before where I'm like, I just already think about the process of time so much. And I'm like, time just moves. And it's like, you start the day, you wake up and I'm like, okay, I wake up at 7 a.m. And then before I know it, it's like 10 a.m. And then it gets to be noon. And I'm like, oh my God, the day's already wasted. I'm like, oh, it's only noon. But I'm like, I'm always thinking of that rush of time because it's like, in the end, I know when I'm not using the time to my full advantage and that we are limited with this time that we have. And I'm very aware of that. And I think a lot of people are. But 
I don't know if people play that into the content that they are consuming. Um, in the end, I think the most important thing is that you should be living your life and not necessarily consuming content, but there are times to consume it. And, you know, I love movies. That's my passion. So it's like when I watch a movie, I'm already getting something out of it because if it's a new movie and I've never seen it before, regardless if it's good or bad, I'm going to come out of this movie with something to say. At least I can even say I've seen it. I love watching rare movies. I watch, I love watching good movies and bad movies. But it's like I come away from that with something where it's like I can talk about them because it's a big part of my life is I love talking about movies and I have friends where we talk about movies. I'm not like that with TV shows as much because I know it takes time and I have criticized TV before, but it's just the whole format of it. It's like it's consuming my time. And I don't know if I necessarily want to do that because it's like, oh, you got to watch the first season. You got to just rush through it because it gets good at the second season. It's like, okay, but now I have to waste you know, like how many hours of my time to maybe get a better show. You know, with a movie, it's like they're shorter. I can get more out of them uh, because, you know, I do like the format of a movie. And also it's like, if it's good or bad, at least I only wasted like max two hours, maybe three hours if the movie's long. But most movies are around like two, hour and a half to two and a half hours. So it's like two hours, almost always. And it's like, Oh, it was bad, and I don't have a lot to say about it, but I saw it, and it only took two hours. Even though, even talking like that, though, it's like two hours out of 24 hours in the day, now you only have 22 hours left. Spooky. So that's why I'm like, it's important to make content that people are going to care about, or they're going to get something out of it. And this is kind of a warning out there, too. It's not just for myself, where I'm like, I'm trying to make something invigorating, but it's like, you really have to watch how you're spending your time, and you know, you got to know that it's finite. You know, there's, it's a finite amount of time. And yeah, sure, people are living longer. I would love to live to be 100. I used to joke that I'm like, I'd love to live forever. I don't really think I'd be that typical movie thing where it's like, oh, he lived forever, but he was sad because everyone passed after him and he was technically alone. I'm like, no, nah, if I got to live forever, I mean, um, I could get so much more done. <laughs> so I've never bought that. I've never bought that movie moral. And I, while we're at it, I've never bought the whole thing. Oh, money isn't everything. I, I don't think money is everything, but I think it could improve a lot of things if you ask me. <laughs> so, um, those are just two movie things, you know, that, and it's like, Maybe I got to have like my trial run, have my little um, It's a Wonderful Life or Scrooge moment where I have some kind of parallel universe play out where I'm like, oh, what if you had a lot of money? This is how your life would play out. Or what if you could live forever? This is how your life would turn out. Aren't you sad? It's like, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I wouldn't be because time is finite and it scares me. It always has. It's always been something that scares me and it scares me for everyone because I'm like when you're sitting there listening to that three hour podcast where they're just diving into someone you're never going to meet someone who has a, a, a minuscule amount of the world's attention. Is it really worth it? Is it? I am. Um, I kind of talk about that with myself. I mean, I watch podcasts where it's like, well, I shouldn't be watching this. I shouldn't be listening to this. Time is finite. So that's why I try to make the best content, or at least I try to. And I know with the vlog format, it's almost impossible to make them all great. It's almost impossible to even just make it good. Like, this is a challenging thing. It's hard to make a good vlog. And I used to say, like, vlogs, they seem cheap, they seem quick. Well, they kind of are in the sense that they're not expensive to make, and they are quick to make. But there's a difference between being good at being quick and cheap and not being good. Like some people are very good at it. It's a cheap, low budget affair that they can get the information out quick, but they can make it good. And there's some people who just can't make it good. And I'm not saying that I'm good at it, but I'm like, it's a format that it's hard to make good. And it's a huge challenge for myself. So that's why I'm not so worried about everybody joining me on it. I'm not looking at all the views every day like, oh, this one's not hitting as good. I should try better. It's like, no, I got other channels for that. I got other things to worry about. You know, this whole thing is just for me. And it's like a test run for me. The biggest thing, too, is like uh, another hu huge issue with the vlog is like I have way more upload anxiety than I ever have 
with these videos because I just think, oh, what am I saying in this video? I mean, people are going to think I'm a mess. I mean, people are going to think I'm a weirdo just because not that I have been in any of these, but I think people sometimes get the wrong impression as far as, you know, not that I'm mean or negative. It's more just like, I think people take some of my emotions and they're like, oh man, this guy's not okay. I know I uploaded the one on like Valentine's Day where I was like, happy Valentine's Day. And someone's like, it looks like you're going to cry in that video. It's like, no, I was really tired. It was like the end of the day. I actually had a really good day. <laughs> so it's like, um, some people just kind of read it wrong. And I, I mean, that gives me upload anxiety because I'm like, oh man, this video is going to, someone's going to react weirdly or they're going to be like, what is this or not? And that's something I want to get past because I'm like, I really... I'm not saying anything controversial. I'm not being an idiot. I'm not doing pranks. I'm not going into the woods where I shouldn't. I'm not doing things or saying things that are bad. I'm being straightforward. And I shouldn't have to worry about what I'm uploading. Because, I don't know, it's like I had this mindset when I was younger where it's like, I don't care what people think about me. And I really didn't. And I lived it up. But once you started getting older, it was like you started to care. And it's weird because it hit later for me. It didn't hit in high school where I think it hits a lot of people. You know, high school never ends. It's a, it's a true it's a true term. I actually think that song is very true. But, you know, it's like, I think it hits a lot of people in high school. It didn't hit me till college, weirdly enough. Um, college was a lot different than I thought it would be, but I started to care a lot more about what people think of me. And it's like, it's something that I want to escape and I'm still trying to actively escape. And that's kind of, I think another thing with this series, it's like actively escape that stop worrying. You're uploading for fun, which I am. It's like, this is for fun. I've already made so many reasons why this is a fun thing. I don't care about the views. I'm trying to just improve myself, improve my talking ability, my video making and creative ability, and also to make the most of your time and what you're listening to. I hope you're getting something out of everything I'm saying right now, you know, that there are ways to look at everything you've done and to improve yourself and to also, you know, just have fun with it, you know? understand that what you're doing is taking people's time so take that into account but also have fun with it and if nobody comes around you know along for the ride you know at least you're getting something out of it too for what you're putting into it but in the end it's like stop worrying <laughs> that's something where it's like upload anxiety where it's like uh, uh this one's not good it's like who cares i mean you want to worry about people's time but also it's like it's it's mostly like the experimental ones. I mean, man, I, when I uploaded that 30-minute video of me just organizing my collection, I thought, oh, I don't know about this one. I feel like this is a weird one, but I think it's interesting just to show the process in, in real time. But, you know, I feel like this is a weird one where people are going to be calling me out and saying things to me. And in the end, it's like the most, it's the best performing video on this channel. So sometimes I don't know Jack. <laughs> But yeah, so just some thoughts about this 100 vlogs so far. And uh, I hope you find these words inspiring in some way. And if you don't, uh, let me know I wasted your time. Because <laughs> that is one thing I take seriously. I'm like, I don't, it's the one thing we should all actively be trying to not do for everyone's own benefit. That's just what I think. Well, I'm going to go live this day now. Thanks for watching this vlog.